You are now watching a Lucky Penny Shop product feature. Hey, it's Lucky Penny Shop. Time to check out the Cat Construction Express Train. This is an item that I've had sitting off to the side uh, for probably a year. And I moved it from one spot to another spot. Then it got buried behind some bins. And then the other day I was cleaning up a section and said, Finally, let's do this. Let's show everybody what this is all about. I have no idea. It looks pretty cool. Now this is from... Well, I'll tell you what, let me turn the box around. It's pretty big, so let me show you the backside. All right, I guess there's not much more back here, just a better picture of the whole train setup. So it looks like there's a, well, a flashing light here, like there's a finger pressing this button here. This goes up and down, another piece spins, and then you get two little bonus vehicles that sit on one of the cars. You have the caboose and the engine, and uh, well, we'll see. Uh, this is from 2015, by the way. There isn't much more on it. Let me tilt it down here. See, not much there. So I guess there's really not much more I can do but get it out of the box. So let's do that. Okay. Let's see. It looks to be in great shape. Now I have to... Uh, I plan on actually building this on the ground because I don't think it's going to fit here. But let's get... Uh, well, let's start getting the track out. It looks like it's all curved sections. Two, four. Oh wait, there's some straights. There's six. Ten. Okay, so there's 12 curved sections. And then if you notice, I didn't notice right away, uh, underneath each car is a straight, all right? All right, very cool. Boy, it's finally nice getting into this. It's been, like I said, probably a year since I've had this. Oh, these are cool. So the trucks sit on there. They're strapped in. So this has never been run, interestingly enough. It, the box looked like it was pretty beat up. Okay, so this is what happened to this. This car has a flipper. Here's another straight. And then, okay, so does this go up and down? It does. All right, very cool. And now, the engine. Okay, so yes, the engine's got some meat behind it. It's, it's pretty heavy. Very cool looking, too. Oh, wait. I can't even imagine that this has had battery since 2015, and it works. And then one more straight. Now, no instructions. So let me just set up the train straight on the tabletop so I can look at it. And then I will set up all the track. All right, so looking at the track, there's like uh, a little pin that's going to go in there. And that's the back side of this has that little pin in there. So you just kind of, looks like you just push it in. Angle it slightly as you push it in. Yeah, you kind of have to angle it because... That one side of the track is a little bit longer on that side, so you have to kind of angle it underneath and get it in. Okay, so now let's check out the caboose. Now looking at this, it is pretty cool and it's pretty detailed. Got all the little rivets around it, you got some of it painted in chrome. Okay, so only two wheels. These are kind of like fake wheels in front it's only the back wheels or the back section of wheels goes on okay and then how does this just clip on maybe it looks like it just clips on yes very simple and easy okay let me check now Ooh, look at that let me see i just want to see the bottom of this one same thing okay so you have the regular wheels and then these kind of like Dummy wheels, I'll call them. I'm going to leave these guys on just because that's the way I found this original and still sealed. So let's just leave it like that. No reason to take them off. I just want to watch a train go around the track. Does anybody do a train for Christmas around their tree at the base? I've done that before. Okay. Come on, buddy. Clip on. There we go. 
like any train, you gotta line up those wheels. Okay, so that's the second car. And then they have this car. I don't think it's gonna fit on this straight. So look at that. That's pretty cool. I was thinking maybe, just maybe, that it turned when it rolled, but it does not. So it looks like this one needs to go this way. Okay, we're good there. It's not going to all fit. I was hoping it would. Maybe I'll add a curve piece at the far end just to make her all fit. All right. And then the next one, okay, so this one here, again, same thing. The wheels only turn so much, so you don't have to worry about them turning all the way around. And then you've got this crane arm. Does this extend? It does not extend. So basically it just sits there. Let's just see, if I push the train car back, will it automatically lock in like some trains? No, so you have to kind of lift it a little. All right, let's see if we can get a turn on here. Hard to do now that it is down. Wow. It's pretty long. All right, let's see the engine. There's a screw for the batteries. I guess I could just leave it the way it is. It might even just go on the table. It does. All right. Now, well, eh, there's no reason to really lock that one in, but I think you get the idea, and I think you know what I need to do next. All right, so it's pretty long. It looks to be at least three feet, maybe four, but let me grab a yardstick. All right, so that's three feet to the caboose back, which you can't see. So it's about three and a half feet. Brown's fried chicken. I haven't had that in a very long time. All right, I tell you what, let's move down a level and get this thing rolling. Okay, it's all apart now. I'm thinking uh, right now that I wanna do turn, 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 turn and see how it makes a circle. That's a good starting point, right? And then I can add straights. At least you would think that's what they'd want for at least one of the configurations. We shall see. We're gonna find out. I did redo my whole studio in the area. That's why I'm on a, a newer, nice black mats. Okay. It looks like I'm missing a couple straightaways. It was four, wasn't there? Well, maybe they're still on the table. Oh, not over there. Okay, hold on a second. I'm missing one straight away. Okay, so what's going on? Why don't the circles... It doesn't match up as a circle. Ah, very frustrating on this black. There were two more pieces of track. Now there's two more straightaways. Why don't you want to lock in? Okay, so there's a configuration. Okay, all right. Let me get the trains on. I'll just leave these two straightaways, but I'm guessing, just the way it looks, it's a little oblong. I would be able to put a straight here and extend this out, and then a straight over there and extend that out, but harder to fit in this little area. So let's get the train on. Okay, engine. Oh, I gotta get way down here. Look at the wheels. Okay, the engine has four. So it's double wheels on the engine. It's the only one that's like that. There's four in the back that are... Let's see. Ooh, it's going. Oh, crash. It powers its way through. All right, let's get the next car on here. Wow, that track was slightly frustrating for me. Just because there were two hiding behind me. 
on the black floor. Okay. Next. All right, two more cars. Then we will run. I'm not used to being this low on the ground to make a video. Okay, I think we got it. One more car. Do, 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 do. It would be cool to go around the tree. Okay. All right. Let me turn around. Definitely need to change the camera now. Well, that works pretty good. Let me give you a complete top down look. All right, how's that perspective? I might have to take the camera. Oh, derailment! But it's still going. Let's see if we can fix it. What happened? We had a derailment. How's that? Pretty cool, huh? I'll let that go for about 30 seconds. I think it's fun to just watch. And then I'll try to get it at train level. Yes, I know, I have walked away. I heard it in the background, like choo -choo 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 All right, let me reset it, and then we'll give you another view. All right, I just had to take it off the tripod. It's low to the ground, and I just made it a complete circle. Remember, because I had two pieces behind me earlier, and that was why I was struggling. Let's go with the train. All right. There's the box in the background. How cool is that? I did wish, I do wish it would just make some kind of like choo choo sound, you know, to give that one little extra piece of realism. What if I just leave the camera down here? Get this angle just a little further back. All right, well, there you go. The cat train has been sitting around here for at least a year. I finally got it on video. I'm happy. From 2015. Maybe I'll just let it record a little on its own. I'll reset it up and just let it go around the track. And thanks for watching, everybody. Later!
All right, well, I am back, even though I thought I was done. I did read the box. It said batteries not included, which means batteries were put in it. Maybe it was played with at one time. So I took those batteries out just to see if fresh, brand new batteries makes a difference. I'm going to say it's about the same speed. I don't really see a difference. So it was batteries not included. I was so excited to think that the batteries from 2015 were still working. But, well, you know, either way, who knows how long they've been in there. It could be years. I don't know. Enjoy. I'll just let it run for a couple minutes.
If you're looking for the item you just saw in the video, click here. Watch more videos by clicking here. Don't forget to share on social media and give a thumbs up. Hey, LPS Dave. What's up, Butch? Make sure they don't forget to subscribe. Oh, yeah. Please click here to subscribe to Lucky Penny Shop. And always remember when you see a lucky penny, pick it up. <laughs>